follow us on our short journey around Wilson's Creek and down Old Highway 105 in the Pisgah National Forest. We actually entered Old 105 from the south end. At the north end, you will find the ranger cabin with recently posted information about the Limbo Gorge area. This 12,000 acre section of Pisgah National Forest is referred to by us locals as the Grand Canyon of the East. The Limbo Gorge begins below the famous Limbo Falls, one of the most beautiful waterfalls of the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina. In Cherokee language, the Limbo River is called ECO, which means River of Many Cliffs. Early settlers named the river Limbo in honor of John and William Limbo, explorers who were scalped by the Shawnee Indians in the gorge in 1766. Last night, we spent the night at one of the many free primitive camping spots on Old Highway 105. We were joined by our good friend Drake from Extreme Machines out of Greensboro, North Carolina. They can help you build out any type of rig. He is currently building out this fun 1999 Ford Explorer. So 105 is not a difficult road. It's definitely stock friendly for Jeeps. Um, we've seen various types of vehicles up here. People have even built trailers up here. Um, sprinter vans have come up here. The biggest thing is that you're gonna hit some ruts on 105 that get a little bouncy, I mean, continuous ruts. Um, and so for those that have never been off road, um, that may be a little scary at first, but just take it nice and slow. Um, take it easy and you're gonna see 105 is a breeze and a gorgeous drive. Now note that there are several large mud puddles. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the Forest Service up here in this area, they are very very strict about the tread lightly rules. So Jeeps, if you typically see a big mud puddle and you like to run through it, I highly advise you not to do that on 105. If they catch you, they will slap you with a big, nasty, nasty fine. So just be cautious, be respectful, enjoy the ride, enjoy the scenery, and um, yeah, have a great time. Let's move. In addition to great primitive camping, the 13 miles of Old Highway 105 offers up amazing close views of Wiseman's View, Table Rock Mountain, Hawksbill Mountain, Shortoff Mountain, and the Chimneys. There are dozens of hiking trails from Old Highway 105, ranging from moderate to extremely difficult. Be sure to do your research before tackling these trails, pack in proper gear and communication devices other than just a cell phone as you're sure to lose service.
As previously mentioned, Old Highway 105 is an easy to travel dirt road that in dry weather should not require four wheel drive. Just take it slow and enjoy. The Wilson Creek area is located in the Grandfather District of Pisgah National Forest. It is a water system that begins at Callaway's Peak, a hike that Jeremy and I took as one of our very first dates. The Wilson Creek Wilderness area was once used by the Cherokee Indians as a summer hunting grounds. Wilson Creek was settled in 1750 as a logging community. Mortimer, once the largest community in the Wilson Creek area, was the site of the Ritter Lumber Company Sawmill, which was destroyed in July 1916. 20 inches of rain fell in 24 hours flooding the gorge. They did in fact rebuild the town and the mill, which provided jobs to sustain over 800 residents. However, it flooded again in 1940 reaching over a 90 foot flood stage. This ended all efforts to bring in industry and leaving the area practically deserted. You can still catch a few of the old concrete structures throughout the area. And there are some private residences that remain to chance the heavy storms and flooding. But let's be honest, as beautiful as the creek is, that risk might just be worth it. Mortimer Campground is a beautiful primitive campground located about 10 miles in from the main road and is open from April until October with bathhouses for a $10 fee. This journey would not be complete without a mention of Betsy's Old Country Store. This small store was built in 1924 when Mortimer was booming and also served as the local post office. Believe it or not, it has managed to survive the floods. It is currently owned by the unofficial mayor of Mortimer, Bruce Gray. You can pick up snacks, camping and fishing gear, and him and his staff are happy to share old pictures of the original logging town and creek before the floods, so don't hesitate to ask. If you have been following our channel, you know our motto is Camp Naked. And while it did not get its start at the campground, 
that mindset did in fact evolve from these roaring creek waters. So if you decide to stop for a swim, which is strongly encouraged, just know our naked bums may have sat on one of those rocks surrounding you. You're welcome for that. We hope you have enjoyed our adventure on Old Highway 105 and Wilson's Creek. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts by leaving us a comment below. Until next time, peace out.